This module is to help you understand the basic interactions of pesticides in the environment. You need to understand some chemical characteristics and how pesticides break down following an application. Once a pesticide is applied, you need to understand some of the dynamics of its movement in air, water, and soil. And lastly, we'll discuss special assessment considerations to protect sensitive sites, pollinators, aquatic organisms, and other animals. Let's start by looking at four different pesticide characteristics. Solubility in water, adsorption onto soil particles, persistence in the environment, and volatility into gases. Solubility, or simply, does it dissolve in water? A pesticide that readily dissolves in water is said to be water soluble. Water soluble pesticides are more likely to move with water. Water soluble products can easily run off with surface waters that don't penetrate into the soil. For water that moves through the soil, water soluble pesticides are carried downward into the soil profile. Once in the soil, the question becomes, where does the water go and how long does it take for the pesticide to degrade? Pesticides that are not water soluble don't move readily with surface or subsurface waters. The adsorption characteristic is important to the fate of pesticides. Adsorption, that is adsorption, is the physical binding of the chemical to the outside of the soil particles and organic matter. The prefix ad means to add on to, obviously. Adsorption is different from absorption. Absorption actually takes the material into something similar as in a sponge drawing in water. Adsorption is binding to the outside like lint stuck on your shirt. Pesticides that are oil soluble or oil loving tend to adsorb or bind to soil particles. Soil type is a key factor as to how much chemical is held by the soil particles. Clay and organic soils have many, many binding sites and adsorb a lot of pesticide. If pesticide is adsorbed or bound to the soil, it doesn't move freely with soil water and water contamination concerns are then greatly reduced. Persistence is another important characteristic when assessing impacts on the environment. Persistence is the measure of how long a pesticide remains active before it degrades. If you want long-term pest control, seek out a pesticide that's persistent and doesn't readily degrade. But realize persistent pesticides don't break down for some time and they can harm sensitive plants and animals. Persistent pesticides also pose concerns for illegal residues on rotational crops that can pick up the chemical because the product was not labeled for that rotational site and no tolerance was set. Volatility is a characteristic of vapor pressure. Depending upon the temperature and humidity and in some situations wind, a chemical changes from a liquid or a solid state into a gas or vapor. As vapor, it can move off target with the airflow. Increases in temperature and wind increase the potential for volatility. Also, lower humidity levels increase the potential for volatility. Fumigants are effective in their vapor state. The vapor is the form that moves through the soil particles during a soil fumigation or through cracks and crevices in structures or grain kernels in stored grain. However, under certain field conditions, some herbicides volatize and move off target, possibly reaching susceptible plants. Because the manufacturers have screened their products for this characteristic, they put volatility warning statements on their labels. So look for cutoff temperatures listed for certain herbicides. This is also why soil fumigant labels require immediate incorporation and soil sealing. 